How's it going, people? For today's video, we're going to check out everything new that's coming with tomorrow's LEGO Fortnite Mares update. And everything I'm about to go over, I got from the patch notes, which I'll leave a link to in the description. First thing they went over was the new split screen feature, which I believe was introduced in the last update, except here they actually explain how to do it. It says here, trick or treating is always better with a friend by your side. In case you missed it, Lego Fortnite now supports split screen on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, S, and Xbox One. So it doesn't look like you'll be able to do split screen on PC. They then explained how to use split screen and it says here's a quick guide on how to access split screen in lego fortnite first thing you'll have to do is start fortnite and go to the lego fortnite lobby so you just start fortnite make sure you have lego fortnite selected and just stay in this lobby right here second thing you'll need to do is connect your second controller all right i just plugged in a second one let's go ahead and turn it on once you plug in your second controller and turn it on you'll see this screen up here and from here you'll have to select the second person's account one thing I should point out is that guest accounts or quick play accounts will not be supported in Lego Fortnite. So if you want to use split screen on PlayStation, you'll have to add another user to this PlayStation 5. I'll go ahead and agree on the license agreement. You can sign in manually or create a whole new account. And once you sign in on the second account, it will automatically ask you to link their Epic account. If they link their Epic account, they'll be able to access their locker outfits, passes, quests, and other progress. And once they've linked their Epic account, they should appear in this lobby along with the first player. And all you have to do at that point is just select what world you want to go to and load in. So that's how split screen works in Lego Fortnite. The next thing they went over in the patch notes was the new Brick or Treat Lego Pass. And it says here, making a ghoulish game room, maybe a place to rest in pieces. With the Brick or Treat Lego Pass, unlock in-game rewards to make your creepiest creation dreams come true. They also provided us with a screenshot showing us the Lego Pass rewards. And this Lego Pass is going to work just like previous ones. Once you select Lego Fortnite as your mode, you'll want to go to the Lego Pass tab to look at all of the rewards. From here, you can also access your quest. You'll just want to click the option on the left side that says View Quest. And you're going to get Daily Quest, which will give you studs. You'll also have Sandbox Daily Quest, which will give you studs. And you'll also have Weekly Quest, which will give you a lot of studs. And those studs are going to be used to level up your Lego pass. Everything on the top row you can get for free just by completing your quest and collecting studs. But everything on the bottom row is going to be a part of the premium track. And that premium track is going to cost 1400 V-Bucks. When it comes to the free reward track, you'll find 10 decor bundles. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can see them a little bit better. And at the very end of the free reward track, you'll also get the dump on an old dirt drive build. And that's the very last reward you'll get. And I do have a better picture of that build. Here's what it looks like. I feel like that's a, a good build to use to place a lot of utility items like your crafting table or your lumber mill, your workbench. I feel like that's a good building to use. So yeah, these are the first four free reward items that you get. Here are the next four. Have a lot of spooky decor items included in here. And here are the last three. Oh, it looks like there's also a pool table, which is pretty cool. I wonder if we can actually use it. It has pool sticks. Hopefully we'll be able to, to play on it, but that's probably the coolest decor item I could find in the top row. Looks like we also have some spider webs. So yeah, that's everything you get from the free reward track. Anyways, they then said, looking for even more spine tingling swag. The premium reward track costs 1400 V-Bucks and has 11 extra rewards you can unlock alongside the free reward track. You don't need to complete extra quests to get these rewards, so don't get scared when you unlock more for doing the same amount of stuff. With this premium track, you'll get Frankie's Laboratory, as well as the Countess of Repose Decor Bundle, and there's also going to be three builds included in the premium track with the Ruin of Rue Royale as the final reward. If we zoom in on those, the very first reward you'll get is one of the new buildings. It sort of looks like a haunted house. We also have some decor items for the next three rewards. So those are the first four rewards you get. And here are the second four rewards you get. We get another building at 5,000 studs. And that one actually looks bigger than the first one. Look like there's an extra floor on there. We also have three more decor bundles and they all include spooky items. 
And for the last three rewards, we have two more decor bundles and another haunted building. And we do have a better picture of this second building. It's called the Ruin of Rue Royale. And here's what it's gonna look like. And from this picture, it looks like there's gonna be a green glow coming out of the windows. And those are all the rewards you get from the Lego Pass itself. But you also get a free skin. If you upgrade to the premium reward track, you'll instantly unlock the Andy Fangerson outfit. And he has both a Lego style and a Fortnite style. And this Brick or Treat Lego Pass will be available until December 10th, 2024 at 2 a.m. Eastern. Its rewards, premium rewards, and Andy Fangerson outfit reward are not exclusive to the pass, as you may be able to purchase them in the Fortnite shop at a later date. So if for any reason you're not able to complete this pass, or if you can't purchase the premium track, you should still be given an opportunity to get these items at a later date. I would assume you're going to have to spend more than 1400 V-Bucks if you decide to do it that way. But if you're unable to get this Brick or Treat Lego Pass, then you can just purchase the items from the item shop at a later date. The next thing they went over was the new Halloween Town Hall bundle. It says this will be available in the shop with tomorrow's update. And it's going to cost 1800 V-Bucks. It comes packed with a build and three decor bundles. So we have the Halloween Town Hall build, which will be available for a thousand V-Bucks by itself. And I assume this is what the Halloween Town Hall building is going to look like. We also have the Halloween Town Hall library decor bundle, and that's going to be available for 600 V-Bucks. There's also going to be a Halloween Town Hall home decor bundle, which is going to cost 500 V-Bucks. And we're also going to get the Halloween Town Meeting decor bundle. And that's going to cost 400 V-Bucks. And you can see some of these decor items in this picture. But yeah, if you buy them all together, it'll be 1800 V-Bucks. If you buy them separately, it'll cost you a total of 2500 V-Bucks. So you can save 700 V-Bucks by just buying the entire bundle. And again, this bundle should be available after tomorrow's update. There's also going to be a couple of new skins added to the shop. The one on the left is called Sally. And the one on the right is called Pumpkin King. And they didn't tell us how much they cost, but they should be available in the shop tomorrow. They also went over some new real life Lego Fortnite sets. And we do have a couple of people in our Discord who have bought these. So I'll go ahead and show the picture of each of these. And shout out to Mystic for showing us what these new sets look like. In the patch notes, they said on the lookout for loot, look no further than the Supply Llama set, which I believe is the one on the bottom left. It has a total of 691 pieces. And here's another picture of what that Supply Llama set looks like in game or in game in real life. Touch grass, A1. And it looks like that Supply Llama is going to cost 40 bucks. Once stocked up, reconstruct your adventures in the skies with the Battle Bus set. And the Battle Bus set is going to cost $100. And here's what it looks like. And this has a total of 954 pieces or satisfy your hunger for building with the Der Burger set. See the Der Burger set only costs $15 and it looks just like the Der Burger you'll find in your Lego worlds. And this one only has 193 pieces. And for all the seasoned builders out there, make your Lego collection even more app appealing with the Peely Bone set. And it looks like the Peely Bone set has a total of 1,414 pieces. And this one's also gonna cost $100. And those are the four new real life Lego Fortnite sets. Anyways, the last thing they went over were improvements and adjustments. And it says here, reduce the number of times the tomato leader can heal. They also added map markers for Nana villages, allowing players to find the villages more easily when they're in range of one. And they also fixed an issue where an enemy's crossbow didn't change color in certain situations. And I feel like these are really good improvements, especially the second one, because I still see people saying that they're unable to find their Nana villages. So hopefully this improvement will help them out. But that sums up everything that was in the patch notes. And again, I'll leave a link to these patch notes in the description. Like always, we will do a video showcasing all of the new stuff that comes with tomorrow's update. I think we'll also stream this new update on Twitch. So be sure to follow if you haven't already. If I come across any tips in regards to this new Lego pass, I'll be sure to let you all know in a future video. I don't know for sure, but you may want to stock up on some bones and pumpkins. I kind of feel like you may need those resources to build some of these new decor items that we're getting. But yeah, that sums up everything we're going to go over for this one. Again, let me know what you think about this new Lego pass in the comments below. Also, before I go, I did want to give a huge shout out 
to everybody who's been using Creator Code A1. And I also wanted to give a shout out to our YouTube members. I've been meaning to give them a shout out for forever, but I always forget. But yeah, from this point forward, I think we'll also start giving a shout out to our YouTube members as well. But yeah, that sums up everything we're going to go over for this one. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.